Hello, this is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Service Management Leadership. Today's video I'm excited for is an introduction to service transition, the phase in the life cycle in ITIL. And I want to answer the question, what is service transition? Service transition helps plan and manage the change of state or status of our service in its life cycle managing the risk for new, changed, and retired services, protects the product production environment, some people call it product environment, production environment. This helps the business deliver value to itself and to its customers. It helps the uptime of those services, so the business can offer a better service to its customers. In creating a service knowledge, curating service knowledge also helps the stakeholders stay informed, make great decisions, support challenges, all along that service delivery. Because let's back up. Our service transition, when we take something from service strategy, a service, or a new or changed service, and then we design it, service, transitions, service transition helps us put it into production in a low-risk, repeatable way that we then can transition it over to service operations. So we're allowing our, our company, our organization, to incur as little, the least amount of risk in the most risky time of this service. Whenever something is changing, it's being retired, something's adding new, it's the riskiest. And so during service transition, the following organizational elements need support. Service strategy, people, process, technology, suppliers, so that's our vendors, our outsourcing partners. We also care about our organizational culture, our governance, and our risk. And so no change, no release is without risk. You'll hear the word risk mentioned often in service transition. In fact, changing your environment creates more risk, right? Because if it, everything's great now, when we swap out a hard drive, do we know if it's going to be good or swap out, upgrade a server? We don't. And so we are creating risk by our new and changed services, changes to our services. And so what we want to do is use a methodology, a set of processes to lessen our risk during this heightened risk time. And so service transition is made up of several processes. You have change management change evaluation, release and deployment management, service validation and testing, service asset and configuration management, knowledge management, and service transition planning and support. Those seven processes we'll talk about on this series. And so this is the first video in the series. This series is adapted from a BMC white paper on its website, BMC, the IPSM Toolmaker. And so we hope that you'll stick around for the rest of the series. It, along with other service transition videos, will be in a playlist linked below in our description. We thank you. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. We thank you for being with us on our YouTube channel. We hope that you'll subscribe to our channel, like or share this video, Leave me feedback below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. My name's Jeffrey T. Fertiller. I'm pretty easy to spot there. And I hope you have a great, great day. Bye.